really similar to last week in Canberra, uh, in it for 35, 40 minutes and then a collapse? Uh, yeah, you're right about the media conference for sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, look, we, we just um, got shown from a team that's playing fast and quick, uh, put ourselves under pressure you know, from various things that we did throughout the game. You know, the Roosters play a pretty simple, straightforward game. They, they sort of isolated us on the right and then swung across to our left. Uh, but they just do things fast and quick. Um, and you know that that's coming. But it's how you stop that. And that's uh, you know, the attitude of the group that we have. It's got to work hard in that department to be able to make sure that you know, we nullify that. You know, and then when we have the ball, you know, how hard you're prepared to work. You know, when you're uh, supporting your teammate, when you're pushing forward, uh, you, you know, your transitioning of getting back behind the ball to be able to play. They're things that the Roosters have been doing well for a long period of time, and they did that obviously today. Everything you just outlined, do you see it as a quick and easy fix, or will you need to make changes to the 17? Uh, well, the players know what they need to do. It's just the individuals that choose to do that. They're the ones that keep moving forward, aren't they? You know, we're, we're definitely not happy with that scoreline at all. It's, uh, you know, it's not acceptable for, for us as a club, but we're the ones that fix that, uh, and how we train and how we go about the things at training. That's what fixes those, uh, those results. Um, it's a very simple fix, but you've got to have the right attitude to be able to do that. And you know, all of us need to own that across um, everything we do. So you're saying today, Madge, was more of an ad. Obviously, people would look at that and think it's a massive goal from class between two teams, but it's more of an attitude. But it sounds like you think it's the biggest goal between the two sides is actually the attitude rather than the ability. Oh, look, I... I... Look, I can't follow the attitude on how hard my players work, but it's how effective we are at times as well. Uh, you, know, you know, they're a team that isolate the Roosters and, you know, they find the speed of the ruck and then you've got Tedesco and Luke Curie controlling. You know, it's a pretty simple game plan, what they're doing. It's just a matter of making sure that the attitude in every single little tackle and the details that you have, you've got to make sure that you're winning those little battles. You know, they won more battles than what we chose to win. And you know, that's, that comes back to an attitude and concentration. Uh, the concentration at times throughout the game was poor from our part. You know, we, um, we spoke about various things that they were going to do. But that's, you've got to do that over and over when you're playing against quality teams like that or any team in the NRL. And if you do that, you'll give yourselves an opportunity. Uh, you know, we, we didn't finish our sets well. Um, but that at some stage is going to happen. You, know, you see the top teams go through that at times. You've got to be able to deal with that, and that's the resilience of your group. And you know, I want to see that that's what our team represents, is that we've got to be able to fight through those periods of time. We, we did a little bit of that last week. We did it a little bit this week. But you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you're, you're going to challenge the top teams, you, you've got to do it yeah, more often than what we showed there today. They can't drop down the left, your, your left edge. How much of that is down to individual responsibility? much as a structural thing? Or a yeah, they, they definitely gave us a work here down our left edge. We're going to have to look at that and obviously the guys on that left edge need to have a good look at that themselves about how we rectify that. Um, so, you know, we'll have a look at that throughout the week. So I think after round two last year you had the same issue on that on that edge and you made some changes as far as swapping players across the other side of the field. Is that an option at all this year or not something to look at? Uh, I'll make changes where I feel fit. You know, that's ultimately, we can't accept that, that scoreline or you know, that result. So, you know, we're all accountable to, to what we do and, you know, we, we've got to, as a team, look at how we fix that and rectify that. You know, it's, um, you know, it's very disappointing. You know, I know this group's been working extremely hard um, in many areas, but we got shown today that we need to be a hell of a lot better than where we were. It wasn't a happy milestone day for Luke Brooks, was it? On his 150th, a few kicks went dead there and obviously on that edge as well. Yeah. You know, he's disappointed with those kicks, without a doubt. Um, you know, but we all play a part. You know, we all play a part in ruck speed and how, how hard we want to fight to play the ball. Just the simple little parts of the game, which are effort areas of the game. If we um, tidy up those areas, it's a different result. Imagine that you spent a lot of your week plotting for Luke Keery and James Desk on how to stop them. And obviously it didn't work today. Like, how hard is it actually putting a plan in place and then affecting it on the field? Well, it obviously showed today that we didn't do it well. Um, but yeah, you know, they 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 own the play, and you know when they when they go hard at that play, it's all in. Uh, you know, and that's the attitude part of what I'm talking about. Is that you know when we're when we're putting on a play, is it 100 percent every single time? That's what they're doing really well. And you know when they execute, they've got their their lead runners that run extremely hard through the line. Um, you know, and they their support runners. 
really pull apart your defensive line. Uh, they're the sorts of things that I know our group's capable of. We've just got to do more and more of that. And when you do that, you apply pressure to the opposition, and that's our game. Mate, what do you think at half time? Like it was 18-6 at half time, but it seemed like you were right in that game. It was a couple of moments in that first half where, you know, last tackle option, they go another end and score. What were you thinking at half time? Uh, actually, I didn't think that were that great. Actually, I, I thought that the areas that I just spoke about were the things that we weren't doing well, and we spoke about that at half time. And uh, you know, there were times there where we did do it, but we've, as I said, we've just got to do things for longer periods of time, and that comes back to individuals owning what they do every moment of the game. You know, if we do that. The results sort themselves out as we move forward. Uh, you know, it's, I've got a very capable group and I believe in this group. But what we need to do, we need to believe in the process about how we go about things. And that's doing it over and over with the things that we practice. It's early days, match, but you do need to get things kick-started, don't you? Because things can slip away pretty quickly. Yeah, well, every game's important. It's not early days. It's, it, you know, every game is an important game and we know that because they all add up as you go throughout the season. Actually, the only team to open against four top eight sides from last year, and next weekend it's at Newcastle and Mitchell Pierce's 300th. Ne next week becomes a, a huge weekend for the Tigers, doesn't it? Uh, every weekend's a huge weekend. You know, I think every game that you turn up with the right attitude, you you put your first, you know, your, your number one game on, and that's what the attitude needs to be every single week, and that's what the best or sort of the top teams at this current moment are doing. You know, they they had players come in and they just did their part and did their role. Expecting to have James Roberts back next week? Uh, yeah. Turns out today, match? No, we're good. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.